Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby, I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're gonna do another great workout you can do in your home using minimal equipment, a small amount of space, and easy to follow directions. So come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move. Five to 10 minutes of a cardio workout just to get your heart rate up a little, get your muscles and joints warmed up and ready for movement, and your mindset ready for movement. Today we are only going to need one tube or band, one dumbbell, and a fit ball if you have one. Okay. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a chest press, facing away from the wall with your tubes or your band. So get that band kind of right close to your body. I like to have it on the insides of my arms. It's a little more comfortable when I push. Step forward with one foot, shoulders down and back before you start, and we're going to press forward, one. Now just stop where your arms end. Don't get that hyper extension where you really round your shoulders and lunge forward. You're just in that proper range of motion, working those muscles. We're working your pecs, just like a push up here. Also your triceps and your shoulders a little bit. You're also having to really engage your abs to stay stable. Let's do two more. Nine and 10. Hello, Baloo. Hi, Baloo came to help me. Okay, next we're going to do a split stance squat. So if you want to use a weight, you can pick up that one dumbbell we talked about. If not, you don't have to use a weight, um, just in one hand. Now I want you to spread your feet apart, quite wide, um, forward to back, and then still about just kind of hip width apart. So you don't, they don't need to be like in tandem. Now I want to the far enough apart so that when you, you're gonna, it's just like you're gonna kneel down. Come on, baby. Can you sit? Sit. You're kinda in the way. Sit. There you go, lie down. Okay, so you're gonna go up and down, just straight down. Now you want your weight in this heel. When you look down, you wanna be able to see your toe. You also wanna be able to think you can pick up your toes. You don't have to, but also doing this next to something sturdy so you can hang on for balance if you need to. Six, seven. Now you can keep that range of motion nice and small. Nine and 10, or you can go all the way to the floor. Now I'm just gonna turn around, avoid hitting my dog here. One. So remember, you wanna keep your weight in that front heel. We're just going straight up and down. Four, shoulders down and back. Five, I'm trying to keep my weight close to me so that I don't hit blue when I go down. Seven, eight, weight in that front heel. If you look down, you should be able to see your toes when you go down and rest. Okay, good. Now, we're gonna hang on to that dumbbell if you still have it. And we're going to do an overhead triceps extension. So just stand in a good athletic stance, take that weight straight overhead. You're gonna drop it behind your head, keeping your elbows in close to your head, close to your ears. Two. So we're extending straight up, keeping those elbows in the same place. Six. Isolating those triceps. Eight. Nine. And 10, all right, I'm gonna rack that so that it's out of my way. Now we're gonna use that fit ball. Um, if you don't have a fit ball, you can do this on the ground just by putting your head um, on a rolled up towel or something like this, and then just basically lifting your shoulders off the ground. You're not gonna go into a big extension, you're just gonna lift your Gonna lift your hands up off the ground. Now we're gonna do a back extension here with the ball. So you want that ball down on your hips. Now you're gonna roll over the ball and you're just going to come up to neutral or below. You just kind of lift your chest up off the ball and that is it. So this is a back extension, but it's not a back hyper extension. Notice I'm not even coming up all the way so that I'm straight. I'm just lifting my chest up off the ball and straightening my back. So I'm rounding and straightening. No 
You don't want to go into hyperextension. That's not good for your spine in most cases. So just coming up into neutral or a little below, working all those paraspinals. Eight, two more, nine, and 10. All right, good. Now we're gonna roll that ball out of the way. And we're gonna do some calf raises. So all we're going to do is go up and down on your tiptoes standing. So do this next to something. What I want you to do is we're gonna go up with both, lower with one. So we'll alternate, go all the way up as high as you can, like you're trying to see over somebody in front of you, lower down with the other. So going up with both, slowly in control, lower down with the other foot. This is four on each. We're going to do seven on each. So that equals, you know, about 14. Usually try to keep it around 15. Of course, you can do more than seven. But going up and down on those tiptoes can get tiring, especially if you're not used to this exercise. One more on each side. Really challenge yourself to go down slowly. Go up as high as you can and then lower down slowly. That's a really good one to do barefoot as well. It requires lots of tiny muscles through your feet and all the way through your calf, which are really important for balance. Okay, the last one we're gonna do is a tightrope walk. Move my bench out of the way a little bit here. So envision a tightrope. You can follow a line if you have hardwood floors, or if you have tile, or you can just envision a line. I want you to go perfectly heel to toe, and we're going to add a little leg lift, heel to toe. So bring that up to the side and forward. Now I want you to do this slowly. So a little hip abduction up to the side and also throws your balance off a little bit. Now your challenge too is to look forward along the line that you're walking and not straight down at your feet. So we want to still maintain that good posture. Happy neck in neutral. So your head and neck are in neutral. Tummy nice and tight. That will help you with your balance. Slow out to the side. Okay, great. Go through these uh, one or two more times each. Add a little bit of cardio in between, get your heart rate up, keep your uh, good workout going, and that will also give you a little bit better calorie burn throughout your workout. Follow with a good cool down and stretch, and if you have any questions or need any modifications, let me know. Have a great workout. We'll see you next time, everybody.